This video tells you how to defer updates in Windows 10. Deferring updates is not the same as pausing updates. When you pause updates all updates that would have come and come in after the pause period is over. When deferring updates, you are always that many days behind the current updates. A question I get asked a lot is why would I want to defer updates? Sometimes an update comes out that causes problems for some users. This doesn't happen often, and normally not to a lot of people, but it can be frustrating when it does. Most of the time Microsoft catches these issues relatively quick, removes the bad update, then brings out a new fixed version of the update. If you are deferring updates then you are far less likely to get an update that causes you problems. First let's cover updates in Windows 10 build, 1909. We will start with when Microsoft made it easy to defer updates. This ended with version 2004. In Windows 10 version 1909 and earlier simply click the start button for Windows. Click the gear slash settings icon. Click the update and security in Windows settings. Click the advanced options. You might need to scroll down. The two options are under chose when updates are installed. Feature updates can be deferred for up to 365 days. Feature updates are not security changes, but new features and quote, improvements. Quality updates contain minor security fixes and can be deferred for up to 30 days. That was how easy it used to be, now we will move on to Windows 10 starting in version 2004. For this video I have installed version 22H2. With the newer version of Windows to defer updates we have to use the Group Policy Editor. There are many ways to start the Group Policy Editor. I will simply use the Windows key plus the R to bring up the Run dialog. I will type gpedit.msc in the Run dialog box and press Enter. We are now in the Group Policy Editor. To make it easier to see, I made the window full screen and widened the left column. Open the Administrative Tools under Computer Configuration. Now open Windows Components. Scroll down and open Windows Update. Now click on Windows Update for Business. On the right double-click, select when preview builds and feature updates are received. Here we are making three changes. The first is click to enable this. Next, change the preview build dash fast with the drop-down menu to semi-annual channel. Now change the after preview build or feature update is released defer for this many days to the amount of days you want to defer. The maximum is 365. If you select a higher number than allowed, you will get an error telling you in changing the number of days down to 365. Once you have your days set click OK to save your settings for feature update deferral. Now double click the select when quality updates are received. Again we will enable this feature. Now we can change the number of days with a maximum of 30 days under, after a quality update is released defer receiving it for this many days and click OK to apply and return. Now you can see that both options are enabled. Preview builds and quality updates are now both deferred. For the purpose of this video we are now done, however I will briefly discuss the other options shown in the section of Group Policy Editor. These are other options. Disable safeguards for feature updates makes the computer install feature updates on a device even when there is a known compatibility problem on that device. Manage preview builds is to do with new updates, mostly feature updates that are not quite ready for the general public, but Microsoft feels ready enough for those that like to see what's coming. Lastly select the target feature update version allows you to tell Windows to stop at a specific version of Windows. For instance if you had a program that had issues with Windows builds newer than 21H2 you could specify that Windows is not allowed to install newer versions until your software has fixed their issues with the newer builds. Allowing your computer to get too far behind could put you at increased risks of getting some malware. 